Uh, I thought with the new ball, the pitch played a little bit low, um, and then it got a little bit slower as the, as the game wore on. But no, it certainly wasn't a conscious plan to go slow at the start. I think they bowled pretty well. And um, I th uh, yeah, I, I would love to go at 10 and over by myself if I could. But, uh, you know, obviously against good bowling, you're not going to be able to. Out there, um, this win and probably the win against Kings Eleven have, have been our two best performances so far. Um, so it's very pleasing to be on the winner's side. We've had a couple of indifferent performances as well. So yeah, we, we're, we're striving for a bit more consistently, uh, uh, consistency definitely. Um, so that's what we're trying, working hard for. Not really, I think it was up to the openers, uh, myself and uh, Vijay, to assess the conditions quite quickly in the first probably six overs and then report back to what we thought was a pretty good target. And um, I, I thought that probably 150 would be a good score. Uh, and that's what I sort of told uh, Stephen Fleming at one of the timeouts. But uh, obviously with the hitting power of uh, MS, uh, it enabled us to get that probably extra 20 runs and, and, and put on a very good score. <laughs> All right. No, no, it's definitely, definitely happy with my decision. You know, it's, uh, it's a tough... It's a tough uh, life being an international cricketer. You're away from home probably you know, up to 11, 10 or 11 months of the year. Um, so m mine's not so much a cricket decision. It was more just the time away from home. You know, and, uh, and I want to have some more time uh, around my family. I've got uh, young children. And so um, you know, that, that's the main reason for me retiring.